The deadline for Americans to enroll under the Affordable Health Care Act, also known as Obamacare, is fast approaching, but help is everywhere, online, on the phone, and yes, in person, too. Ebru's Derek Dennis is live in Edison, New Jersey, at an Obamacare enrollment center. Derek, how's business so far? It's pretty brisk uh, there, Logan. It's happening inside uh, this hotel here, the Cron Plaza Hotel in Edison, New Jersey, and in makeshift locations across the country. Sign up counselors are inside helping people navigate the healthcare.gov website to fill out the paperwork. And with the deadline looming at the end of the month, the lines of people are just going to get longer. It's the website millions of Americans have been logging on to ever since it was announced. Healthcare.gov, also known as Obamacare, now in its final days before the March 31st deadline to enroll. And counselors all over the U.S. are busy. We basically help people through the uh, enrollment process. We help them complete their applications on healthcare.gov and we help them resolve any issues that they may be having with completing it by themselves. Anthony Borges is an Obamacare sign-up counselor at this affordable health insurance marketplace enrollment assistance center located inside the Crown Plaza Hotel in Edison, New Jersey. Borges and his team help citizens navigate the healthcare.gov website. The upcoming deadline, a critical one. After March 31st, customers will have to wait an entire year to sign up, and there are penalties. Anyone who doesn't have health insurance for this year will have um, a penalty of $95 or 1% of their income, and the maximum amount they can pay is $285 per family. This enrollment center, part of a nationwide push by the White House to enroll more than a million Americans without health insurance by the end of the month. Counselor Beverly Blake spent the day helping 58-year-old Juan Sun. He's on Medicaid already, but he wants Obamacare so he can afford even more health coverage. Yeah, yeah, just Obama insurance. Yeah. Okay. But navigating the website has been tough. Juan speaks very little English, and there were widely reported glitches with the system early on. Now, Beverly says healthcare.gov is greatly improved. Uh, it's user friendly. People can go online, at least they start online sometime, and then when they have a problem, they show up here. This center providing face to face enrollment help under the Affordable Care Act before March 31st comes and goes. The center here opened in this hotel in a ballroom inside, paid for uh, by money from the federal government. They needed a larger location because of the amount of interest they're getting from everyday Americans having trouble on the healthcare.gov website. So they set up these locations here and around the country for people to go and get that face-to-face -face help. If, if you go to the website, you type in your zip code, you can find out where a service center, an enrollment center is where you live. That's how you're being advised to go about it. But, of course, that March 31st deadline will come quicker than most people realize. So you're urged to go onto the website or find a, an enrollment center of your choice. We're live tonight in Edison, New Jersey. I'm Derek Dennis for Ebru News. Logan, back to you. Derek, most of the people you're seeing there, do they seem to have some kind of special need, such as not speaking the language properly or uh, not being that tech savvy? Yeah, absolutely. It's people who maybe who don't have a computer at home, people who have a, a, a language barrier and they can get on the phone with a, a counselor or an interpreter to help them navigate the system, or they will have an interpreter here on hand at these centers around the country. So yes, it's people who need that extra special help, but there are also just regular people who have computers at home but still need that face-to-face -face help, and they're getting it in long lines that we're seeing. All right. Thank you so much for that report, Derek.